Hello everyone and welcome to day three of your Yoga Sculpt program. Today is going to be a lower body focused flow. So we will be holding positions a little bit longer, of course moving through those vinyasas. So you will need a yoga block or yoga blocks, a yoga mat, some water, and we'll begin at the back of our mats to start. So beginning at the back of our mats, we're going to bring the hands up and overhead, exhaling, looking up. Then we're gonna swan dive the arms down, bringing the gaze down to the mat. Hands go to a, the mat or a yoga block. Then we're going to inhale halfway. Exhale down. Walking ourselves all the way out to plank. We'll hold here. We're gonna drop and lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale, pushing yourselves back to a downward before pushing back into a forward fold. We'll do that again, inhale halfway, exhale down. And we'll walk ourselves back into a plank, holding here. This time we're gonna cross. One, two, going for 10, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Push back into downward. Staying here. Pedaling out the legs. Breathing after that flow. Heels come back down to the mat, and we're going to lift the left leg. To begin into a three-legged dog, we're going to bring the leg around and over for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push out of the shoulders, nine, and 10, holding it up. Inhaling, coming up on the left tippy toes, exhaling, bringing the left knee into the chest before stepping that foot down, pivoting the back. Inhaling, coming to warrior two, exhaling, sinking deeper. Five breaths here. From here, we're going to do a side angle, bringing the forearm to the side of the left knee, or excuse me, top of the left quad. Then we're going to inhale, pushing out of that left shoulder, extending that right arm, staying here another five breaths. From here, then we're going to bring our arms all the way down to the mat. Again, staying in that let lunge, warrior two, holding the arm up. One, two, three, four, five. Inhale, come up into warrior two. Exhale, fall forward over that left knee, pushing back into a three-legged dog. Exhaling, foot goes down to meet the right, back into downward. Taking three breaths here. 
if we're dealing on the other side. From here, lifting that right leg, three-legged dog, and then we'll take those circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Hold that leg up. Come up onto the left toes. Exhale, curling that right knee in. Dropping the right foot, pivoting the back. Inhale. Exhale into warrior two. Rolling the shoulders back and down. Five breaths here. Staying strong in that front leg. Last breath. Dropping the forearm, bringing that left arm overhead. Option to look up or down to the mat, but still pushing out of that shoulder. Dropping the hand down to the mat or a block. Another five breaths. Inhale back up. Exhale, come down. Kick back. And then we'll exhale. Right comes down to left. Downward dog. Option to come down to a child's pose to rest those arms if need be. Three more breaths. Coming back on to your hands and knees, pushing back into a downward. We're meeting me in that downward if you stayed there. Then we're going to bring the left knee back up or left leg back up into the chest. One, two, three, four, going for eight, five, Six, seven, and eight. Hold it into the chest. Drop that left foot. Right foot stays straight. Come into crescent lunge. Dropping the back, lifting up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it. Come forward, drop the arms, come back. Downward dog. Other side, we're going to come onto the mat, left, right leg goes up, into the chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, hold it in, drop the right foot, come on up, crescent lunge. Drop that back knee for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold. We'll lean forward and then we'll drop. Coming back to downward. We'll roll on down to our knees, kicking our feet in front of us and coming to a bridge position. Coming on to your back, we're gonna go straight into bridge pose. So bringing the feet about a hip width distance apart, inhaling, tucking the hips, exhaling, coming up to center. We're gonna lift and lower for 20, 19, 
18, 17, 16, really trying to push up at the top, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it up. We're going to bring the right knee in and we're going to drop and lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Hold it up. Drop that right for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Drop that right knee. Inhale, pushing up. Exhale, all the way down. We'll bring the left knee over the right. We'll bring that into the chest, pushing the left elbow to the left knee. Just stretch that out. both feet back down inhaling exhaling come back into bridge now we're just going to lift the left knee in and drop one two three four five six seven eight nine ten hold it up drop for eight seven, six, really pushing off that right leg, four, or five, four, three, two, and one, hold it up, exhale, come back down, we'll bring the right over left, bringing it into the chest, another five breaths here. bring that knee back down feet come back down to the mat we're going to lift and just open and close for 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 10 Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Close the knees, exhaling, coming back down. Bringing the knees into the chest. We're gonna bring both of our legs up to the air and then come into a wide V a wide straddle position. We're gonna lift the legs up and lower for 10, nine, slow and controlled, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, we're gonna hold out the legs, really trying to push them down, getting a good stretch in those inner thighs. Option to flex the feet and point the feet, playing around with what feels good to your body. Bring 
going to bring that back up, pointing the feet, bringing them up for one, two, three, four, five, six, making sure the back is on the ground, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll hold it open one last time here. Coming up, we're gonna bring the knees into the chest, rolling on to our forearms. Just a little fun leg and core practice to finish, or a little exercise to finish off. So we'll bring the knees into the chest, we'll open up the legs, and we'll bring them around and up for two, three, four, Five. You can always put your hands underneath your tailbone if that helps. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Last one. Ten. Bring those knees into the chest. Roll on back. Hugging those knees. Giving yourself a big hug. That was a challenging practice, but I'd say fun. <laughs> so bring your legs to the outside of your mat. Hands go up. Inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth. Again, inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. The last time. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears, letting the feet fall outward, just turning the hands up to the ceiling. Be here for about 30 seconds to finish off this flow. Everything's wrong in life and you want it to stop. Just know that there are people there for you, whether you're aware of it or not. It's a really hard time for you, I promise you. It takes time and a little bit of effort. I know you won't believe me at first, but you just have to have a little bit of faith and a little bit of hope. If you're listening to this, just know that I believe in you. You can do it. Starting to wiggle your feet, your hands, your toes. And rolling onto the left side of the mat, pushing yourselves on up. We'll come to seated. That was our lower body flow. I know I'm feeling the shake and the burn, but the feel goodness of it all. Definitely hope you guys felt that as well. You guys know the drill. Get some water, stay hydrated. I'll see you guys in day four. Have a good one. Namaste.